The upcoming Galaxy S26 series might be Samsung's most powerful and advanced smartphone lineup ever. New reports suggest that Samsung's Exynos 2600 chip, which is expected to power the Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus, is showing benchmark scores almost equal to Apple's M5 chip, something that once seemed impossible for a smartphone processor, the Exynos. 2600 is Samsung's next-generation processor built using a 2-nanometer process. This is a very advanced manufacturing technology that makes chips faster and more power-efficient. If the reports are correct, the Galaxy S26 series could be the first phones in the world to use a 2-nanometer chip, giving Samsung a huge advantage over other smartphone makers. In most parts of the world, the Galaxy S26 and S to 6 Plus are expected to use the Exynos 2600. While the Ultra model will have it only in some regions like Europe and South Korea, in markets such as the US, China, and Japan, the Galaxy S26 series will likely use the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 for Galaxy. But surprisingly, this time, the Exynos version might actually be faster than the Snapdragon 1, according to leaked Geekbench 6 results. The Exynos 2600 scored for 1,217 in single-core performance and 13,482 in multi-core performance. These scores are much higher than the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, which scored around 2,865 and 9,487 in the same tests. If these leaks are real, the Exynos 2600 might finally beat Qualcomm's chip and even come close to Apple's performance. The Exynos 2600 has a 10-core CPU built in a 136 structure. The main core runs at 4.20 GHz, three high-performance cores run at 3.56 GHz, and six efficiency cores run at 2.76 GHz. This setup allows it to handle heavy tasks quickly while saving power when doing lighter work. The chip also uses Samsung's new Gay Taller Allen GAA transistor technology, which improves speed and efficiency by reducing energy loss. However, people should still be cautious about these benchmark results. The scores aren't visible on Geekbench's official database right now, which means they might have been removed or never officially posted. Still, if they turn out to be true, the Exynos 2600 could be one of the most powerful smartphone processors ever made. Its single-core score is almost equal to Apple's M5 chip, which scored for 1,263 points, just slightly higher than Samsung's chip. This is a major achievement for Samsung, especially when you remember how much criticism the Exynos chips received in the past. For years, users complained that Exynos versions of Galaxy phones were slower and less efficient than Snapdragon ones. Around 2019 and 2020, Samsung even shut down its custom CPU core development team because their Mongoose cores were underperforming. At one point, Samsung even used Snapdragon chips for its Galaxy S20 lineup in South Korea, which disappointed many fans, but over the last few years, Samsung has made huge progress. Starting from the Exynos 2200 and then the 2400, Samsung has been improving its chip technology step by step. The Exynos 2600 is not just a new chip, it's a symbol of Samsung's comeback in the chip market. From a business point of view, this is also a big deal for Samsung. By producing its own high-performance chips, Samsung can save hundreds of millions of dollars in licensing and supply costs. For example, when the Exynos 2500 faced production issues last year, Samsung had to pay Qualcomm about $400 million extra to get enough Snapdragon chips for the Galaxy S25 series. With the new Exynos 2600 and better production yields at Samsung Foundry, this problem might be avoided. Samsung's 10 nanometers process also looks promising. Although TSMC still dominates the global chip market with over 70% share, Samsung is catching up and currently holds around 7.3%. If the Exynos 2600 performs as expected, it could become one of Samsung's biggest achievements yet in chip manufacturing. Even though Apple's M5 chip still has higher multi-core performance 17, 1,860 to versus 13,482. The gap between Apple and Samsung has never been this small. And since Apple's chip is made for laptops and tablets, Samsung reaching this level in a smartphone chip is extremely impressive. With these improvements, the Galaxy S26 series could completely change how people view Exynos-powered phones. Instead of being considered the weaker option, Exynos models might become the preferred versions in some countries. The Galaxy S26 series, powered by the 2 nanometers Exynos 2600, could mark Samsung's most confident step toward becoming independent in chip making and leading in performance if these reports are accurate. 
This could be the year Samsung finally stands shoulder to shoulder with Apple, not just in camera and design, but in raw processing power too. The Exynos name might finally earn the respect it has been chasing for years.